the Muslim business owners here don't need detectives to tell them who's destroying their shops and homes. Buddhist nationalist groups have again been exploiting long simmering resentment among some ethnic Sinhalese who think Muslims dominate the economy. I am Sri Lankan. This is my country. Uh, I'm, I'm born here and I, I'm going to die here. Uh, the, I don't know. I am Sri Lankan. After that, uh, I don't know. This is, I, this is a simple, simple incident. But uh, I am uh, really um, proud of my Sri Lanka. Using social media, rumours of alleged Muslim wrongdoing spread fast and angry groups quickly formed. Now, before the mob came through, the military and the police told the Muslims living here to get out, so they did. When they came home, when it was all over, they came back to this. And many of the people living here have told us that they've been left with the impression, however right or wrong, that the security forces weren't interested in looking after their property. The local police chief tells us they did everything they could. The government has sent troops, imposed a curfew and cut access to social media. But the coalition administration, led by Prime Minister Ranil Wickremesinghe, is politically weak, and some have accused it of not doing enough to tackle rising nationalism. It's very difficult. These are very difficult uh, questions to answer because of the emotions involved. It's very easy to, for somebody to give me that, uh, uh, that idea and uh, uh, play something in me and, then, and get my emotions to run right in me. Maybe in the future there, there may be things that we can do better. So uh, we, it's, it's, a, it's a topic that we have to discuss in the future. Three quarters of Sri Lanka's population is Sinhalese and overwhelmingly Buddhist. But nationalists have promoted long-held fears that the character of the island is under threat. First from British colonialism, then there was a 26-year civil war with Tamils, now it's Muslims. They are destroying our Buddhist sites and we definitely cannot stand by as Sinhalese, as Buddhist, and watch as that is happening. One or two temples have been targeted, but most victims of the violence are Muslim. The region of Kandy is vital to Sri Lanka's multi-billion dollar tourist industry, but it's under curfew once again. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera, Kandy.